Hey everybody, this is Analytical Survival, and today I want to talk about a new series that I'm launching. And as you can clearly see by the title, this series won't be covering tactical gear in particular. It will, however, cover tactics and strategies, namely homeschooling tactics and strategies. Now, you still may be asking, why homeschooling tactics and strategies? Well, because in my book, a huge part of preparedness involves taking care of one's family. And that's almost a given for most of us. In fact, after my faith in God, my family comes in at a close, close second, and then and only then do my preps come into the picture at a distant third. So if you'll allow me, I'd like to share every now and then some homeschooling strategies, ones that I myself have used on a daily basis to homeschool my four-year-old boy. Now, if you recall, I posted some time ago a video entitled Tactical Toddler, and that was actually exactly two years ago to the very month. Now, in that video, I showcased all the work I did in his playroom, and here are some old photos of that video. Well, as you might have guessed, since that time, he's moved from the playroom and into my office where I can work more closely with him on a daily basis. I thus had to make room for him, and I sort of built this study area that you see into all the surrounding tactical gear. Now, first I made this little desk using a simple piece of plywood. I then used a hole saw to bore out two holes here and then placed these metal mesh pencil cups into the holes, as you see here. I then put little circular pieces of foam inside them, and that way his crayons and pencils will raise out of the cup just a bit, making it easier for him to grasp. And here's a list of all the books he's mastered, which to date are around 40 or so. And here's the periodic table of elements. Now, this is something that I've been using as a memorization device, as an exercise that helps him to match symbols to words. And I'll have a separate video on that later. And here's a bookshelf I built, again, with all the books that he's mastered. And I'm actually going to have to make more room soon because his reading is really, really taking off. I've also found that I had to make a special area over here for all his flashcards. And these are cards for sight words, addition, uh, world geography, the periodic table of elements, uh, money denomination, telling time, number counting, and a few others as well. Now, I actually made all these cards from scratch, and they're really not that much of a hassle for me to do. And I say that because... I found out that in the long run, making my own cards has given me the creativity to create specialized sets of flashcards, ones that I could never find on the internet, no matter how much searching I did. So I finally said, what the heck, and I started to make my own sets of flashcards, and that's what you see here. Over here is an area where I keep all the manipulatives, mostly puzzles, and they're stored in this neat little cabinet here, which can be rolled around wherever I need it. Here I have puzzles on Africa, Asia, Europe, Canada, South America, and the United States. And finally, I have Monitor here, which I used to stream in my own custom-made video lessons on many, many, many different topics, but we'll get into all that in other videos. Now, regarding this series itself, I will, of course, be posting my usual preparedness videos as I've done in the past, but every now and then, I'll be posting videos on homeschooling as well. And hopefully, hopefully, this will help other preppers who are also embarking on this journey of self-reliance. And not only an emergency emergency preparedness, but in education as well. And with that, I want to conclude this introduction on homeschooling methods and strategies by allowing my student himself to sign off. So, go ahead, son. Okay, that's it for now. This is Analytical Survival saying stay safe, my brothers and sisters. <laughs>